Well, Rob, fantastic news today that uh, mm. Sandy Park and the City of Exeter are going to be a Rugby World Cup venue in 2015. Yeah, definitely. And I think I think for me, the important thing for me as the kind of head coach here is it just uh, it's easy for me to talk to the players now about the kind of progressive club Exeter are, and that's the key for me. You know, working with a group of players, you always want to be able to talk to them about where we're heading uh, in the future, uh, the kind of club we want to be, the kind of team we want to be, the kind of players we want to have here. And I think to be able to say to the guys and them see this news that the, the, well, we are going to push forward with developments of the ground, we are pushing forward to having big, big games here. Um, you know, we are serious about what we want to achieve. It's, it is fantastic. Being, being seen as being a progressive club is very important uh, in how you develop your team as well. And I think this kind of news just, just kind of shows where we want to be as a team. You know, in the years to come. Um, obviously, my job is to make sure. You know, we keep developing our rugby here for the next couple of years, and that we can maybe uh, run in with a with a really good support here now uh, into two years that will really enjoy moving their support into a World Cup uh, time of year. As someone from the region, just how big and important hmm. is something like the World Cup coming here? Well, like I say, I think it's it's another little step in the right direction for us. You know, I'm a big believer in that you kind of get to where you need to be a little bit at a time. And I think this is an indication that, uh, that Sandy Park's a fantastic place to play rugby. We're, we're very aware of that, having played here regularly. But I think now uh, the fact that these games are being awarded to, to places where they feel they get a genuinely good rugby atmosphere kind of shows what we're creating down here. You know, our support has been fantastic. Um, you know, our job as, uh, as coaches and as players is to make sure that they have something that they really want to support. And that's how I look at it now. I look at it that, you know, it's our job to kind of build a support. And I think the important thing for the region with the World Cup Games is that there won't be any Premiership rugby being played at that time. Um, but it gives our, our rugby supporters in this area a real opportunity to get their rugby fix uh, in, a different, in a different environment, different occasion. And I can see some, you know, some fantastic rugby parties being held here in, in September, the start of the Rugby World Cup. You know, they're, they're not the biggest nations coming here, you know, but Tonga are, are a fast emerging side now and are capable of beating pretty much anybody on the day and, and everybody now knows that it's a very well established Six Nations side so we, we've got two guaranteed big fixtures here we've still got to wait, wait on the third fixture and I think they're the kind of fixture that, that people really want to see you know Italy are kind of easy team to get behind and support you know as are Tonga you know they're very exciting games you know and uh, you know, as, as far as I'm concerned, being able to say to, to everybody that we're a progressive side is, is exactly what I want to be involved with. I think, and I think the other, it, it is fantastic, and I think the other big thing about it is, you know, we talk about uh, we, we, had the, we had the best museum in the world, uh, sorry, in, in Britain. <laughs> now we're going to have, you know, the people of the world, four and a half billion people who have a chance to see bits of Exeter, you know, in the, and, and you will ground. People remember the Chiefs' ground, won't they? Exeter, Exeter, when they watch all this rugby. Let's do a lot of work very quickly because we were we were originally considered last year, and then told the venue was too small, and then they came back after Christmas, and we've had to run around a bit uh, quickly. Alan Quantit, my finance director, and I have been running around like headless chickens, but we, we've got it all submitted in time, and and uh, I'm really pleased now that uh, we've been rewarded with. Uh, uh, World Cup venue. I was going to say a few, a few of the reasons why they've said about it is basically down to the atmosphere of the place and we know ourselves from match days here with the Chiefs yeah, what a noise well, can be created in. Yeah, you, you do, I mean I'm, I'm a great believer in things going to happen, they're going to happen and the atmosphere is like everybody knows, the, the Chiefs atmosphere has just grown over the seven years we've been here and our match day atmosphere is unbelievable. You wouldn't want to go to any other venue, would you, than Sandy Park on a match day? Come 2015, hopefully there'll be some more redevelopment of the ground. The, the capacity will have gone up a little bit more from what it is now, but also hopefully a few lads in our ranks may be featured. Yeah, yeah you know, I mean, I, I, I know it's two and a half years away, but I, I, we just may have... I, you know, Young Jack may get there, uh, and maybe one or two of the others. It'd be nice if they could, and, and uh, uh, but also then thinking about our under-18s, there'll be some of them may still be in the under 20s and there'll be a, another tournament for under 20s so it's really good it's really great the, the academy stuff working boys coming through and just uh, it's just really really good